but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Matthew 6.33 Have you ever stopped to think how your day could change by seeking God's guidance before anything else? Imagine making every decision with the confidence that he is guiding your steps. We often start the day rushing around, eager to solve problems in our own strength. But what if the solution lies in stopping and listening to God's voice first? No matter how urgent the situation may seem, when you seek God's guidance first thing in the morning, you will find clarity, peace and strength to face any challenge that arises. In the rush of modern life, it's easy to be consumed by the daily rush, to-do lists and worries. But when we seek God's direction in the morning, we are handing over control of our day to Him and allowing Him to guide our steps. Divine guidance is not only a source of wisdom, but also an invitation to peace. Anxiety often arises when we try to carry the weight of decisions and challenges alone. When we turn to God in prayer early on, we are reminding ourselves that we don't have to face the day in our own strength. God, in His infinite wisdom, already knows every challenge, every obstacle and every decision we will have to make. He is ready to guide us, but we must first be willing to listen by seeking God's guidance every morning. We are saying, Lord, I trust you. I trust that your ways are better than mine and that your wisdom is greater than mine. This act of trust positions us to receive his direction, his peace and his strength for what lies ahead. This doesn't mean that the day will be without its challenges, but that we will face these challenges with the confidence that God is by our side, guiding us every step of the way. Look at the life of Jesus. Even though he was the Son of God, he began his day seeking the Father's guidance. Jesus withdrew to quiet places, away from the crowds and distractions, to listen to God's voice before beginning his activities. If Jesus himself, who had an intimate and constant connection with the Father, felt the need to seek this direction first thing in the morning, how much more should we follow this example? This teaches us that, before anything else, we must prioritize our connection with God. God's guidance in the morning prepares us to face adversity with wisdom and discernment. Think about how many decisions you've had to make quickly without time for reflection, and which could have been easier if you had started the day by seeking God's guidance. When we let him be the first to speak, we are enabled to act wisely instead of reacting impulsively. We are guided by his peace and not by the pressure of the moment. This day, make the choice to listen to God's voice before any other. Seek his guidance not only for the big decisions, but also for the small ones. God cares about every detail of your life and wants to guide you every step of the way. When we seek Him with all our heart, He promises to show us the way. May your day today be guided by divine wisdom and the peace that surpasses all understanding. In the fast pace of modern life, it's common to wake up already thinking about the countless tasks and responsibilities that await us, the rush can lead us to make hasty decisions based only on our limited understanding. A practical situation is when we face important choices at work or in relationships. At such times, seeking God's guidance can make all the difference. A biblical example is that of Daniel, who, even in the face of great challenges in Babylon, maintained the habit of praying three times a day, Daniel 6.10. His discipline in seeking God regularly granted him wisdom and favor, allowing him to make the right decisions and stand out in the midst of a foreign culture. Like Daniel, by taking the time to listen to God first thing in the morning, we receive the direction we need to face the day's decisions with confidence and wisdom. Another common situation is when we encounter unexpected challenges that test our patience and faith. 
Perhaps it's a health problem, a financial difficulty or an interpersonal conflict. At such times, the immediate reaction can be stress or anxiety, but instead of letting our emotions take over, we can follow Nehemiah's example. Upon receiving worrying news about Jerusalem, before taking any action, he prayed and fasted, seeking God's guidance. Nehemiah 1.4 This initial search for divine direction enabled him to lead the successful rebuilding of Jerusalem's walls. This teaches us that, when facing challenges, our first response should be to seek God, allowing Him to give us the strategy and strength we need to overcome adversity. Balancing the multiple responsibilities of everyday life is another practical challenge. Between work, family, studies and other commitments, we can feel overwhelmed and without clear direction. Mary and Martha, two sisters mentioned in the Gospels, illustrate this situation well. While Martha was preoccupied with household chores, Mary chose to sit at Jesus' feet to listen to his teachings, Luke 10, 38-42. Jesus praised Mary's choice, highlighting the importance of prioritizing communion with God. This shows us that, despite our obligations, we should seek divine guidance first. By putting God first, he helps us organize our time and priorities, making us more efficient and fulfilled in all areas. Anxiety about the future is a concern that affects many people. Thoughts about financial stability, family security or personal achievements can consume us. To deal with this restlessness, it is essential to seek God's guidance on a daily basis. The example of the Israelites in the desert illustrates this daily dependence. God provided manna every morning, teaching them to rely on Him daily for sustenance. Exodus 16.4 They couldn't store the manna for the next day. They had to trust that God would provide again. In the same way, by seeking God each morning, we learn to trust Him for each day's needs relieving anxiety about the future and strengthening our faith in His continuous provision. Facing temptation is a reality in everyone's life. Whether it's the temptation to lose heart, to give in to harmful habits or to act contrary to divine principles, before beginning His ministry and facing temptations in the desert, Jesus spent 40 days fasting and praying, seeking God's presence and strength, Luke 4, 1-2. This spiritual preparation was crucial for him to resist the onslaught of the enemy. This teaches us that by starting the day by seeking God, we are strengthened to resist the temptations that may arise. Morning prayer equips us with discernment and firmness to live according to God's will, even in the face of trials. Managing time and responsibilities can be challenging, especially when unforeseen events arise. We often feel that there aren't enough hours in the day to accomplish all the tasks. Moses faced something similar when leading the people of Israel. Overburdened by the demands of the people, he received advice from his father-in-law, Jethro, who advised him to delegate responsibilities. Exodus 18, 17 to 24. Before implementing this change, Moses sought God's direction and, with divine wisdom, reorganized his tasks. This example shows us that by seeking God's guidance, we can manage our time better, learn to delegate when necessary and focus on what really matters, avoiding burnout and increasing our effectiveness. Finding purpose in everyday tasks is essential to living a full and satisfying life. Sometimes we can feel stuck in a rut, questioning the meaning of what we do. Colossians 3.23 encourages us, Whatever you do, do it wholeheartedly, as for the Lord and not for men. By seeking God's guidance in the morning, we renew our sense of purpose, remembering that every activity can be an act of worship. Joseph sent in Egypt, even as a slave and later unjustly imprisoned, carried out his tasks with excellence because he knew that God was with him. Genesis 39, 2, 4, 20, 
to 21. His faithfulness in the little things led him to positions of great influence. This teaches us that by recognizing God in our daily activities, we find meaning and motivation, turning even the simplest tasks into opportunities to serve and honor the Lord. Dealing with decisions that can change the course of our lives is a significant challenge. Whether it's a career change, an important relationship or a move to a new city, these decisions require clear wisdom and direction. The Apostle Paul, on his missionary journeys, always sought the Holy Spirit's guidance on where to go and what to do. In Acts 16, 6 to 10, we see that he was prevented by the Spirit from preaching in certain regions, but had a vision that directed him to Macedonia. His obedience to divine direction resulted in the significant expansion of the gospel. This shows us that by seeking God before making big decisions, we can trust that he will guide us along the best path, opening doors that no man can close and closing those that are not for us. Now that we've reflected on the importance of seeking God's guidance at every moment of our day, let's prepare ourselves for prayer. This is the time to silence our worries and open ourselves completely to what the Lord has to say to us. Put aside the rush and distractions and take a deep breath. Place before Him everything that is in your heart, whether it's an important decision or a simple desire for peace. Let's trust that God is ready to guide us and that hearing His voice is the first step towards a day full of purpose. Dear God, I come to you this morning, recognizing your greatness and your love for me. First of all, I want to thank you for another day of life, for this moment of peace in which I can seek you and hear your voice. Lord, I know that without your guidance, my paths become uncertain and confusing, so before I make any decision, I choose to surrender to your will and seek your wisdom. Father, I place before you all the situations that await me today. Decisions big and small, encounters, tasks, and even the unexpected. In every moment, may I have the sensitivity to hear your voice, to perceive your direction, and to walk according to your purpose. Give me clarity, Lord, to see beyond my limitations and see what you have prepared. I ask you to help me start this day with a heart that trusts in your wisdom. When challenges arise, may I remember to seek you before acting on impulse. Help me to trust that, even when I don't see the whole path, you have already mapped out each step ahead of me. May I have the courage to follow your direction, even if it seems different from what I planned. Lord, I also entrust the worries that weigh me down into your hands. You know those fears and insecurities that I try to carry alone. I ask you to take each one away and give me the peace that only you can give. May I have the patience to wait for your time and the wisdom to know that your will is always good, perfect and pleasing. Today, may my mind and heart be open to your guidance in every detail. May I not get lost in the distractions of this world, but may I walk attentive to your voice, always seeking to please you in everything I do. And may your name be glorified in all my actions and words. Thank you, Lord, for being my constant guide. Thank you for never leaving me alone and for giving me the grace to start another day under your guidance. I trust you completely, knowing that where you lead me is the best place. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have been blessed by this prayer, please type the word Amen in the comments section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you, in Jesus' name. You can help us reach more people and spread the gospel by sharing this video with a friend or family member and clicking the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our Our Father channel for more videos that will bless your heart and strengthen your spirit. We deeply appreciate all your support. You are blessed to be a blessing. Feel free to leave your prayer request in the comments section so that we can present them before God, asking for His blessings and victory. 
and so that other believers on the YouTube platform and around the world can join us in praying for you. Stand firm in faith with us as we pray. Our team wants to show gratitude for everyone who has helped sustain our ministry. Your generosity allows us to continue creating and sharing content that strengthens and inspires faith. Repeat with me with great faith. I have the right to be happy. If you believe this statement, write it in the comments with great faith. To God be all the glory. May the Lord's presence guide you in every step you take, bringing clarity and direction to all your choices. May God's peace fill your heart, calming your worries and giving you the confidence to move forward. May God's guidance be present in every moment of your day, guiding your steps and enabling you to listen to His voice before making any decision. May every choice reflect God's will and may you find peace and clarity when you seek the Lord's direction first thing in the morning. May your day be blessed and may God be glorified in everything you do.